Hi, welcome back to Chemical Exchange, run number 12. We have been dying so consistently in this game. Though last run, we made it through an entire video without dying. Then seven minutes into the next one, down we go. We are just going to get straight into it. So, start here. We get a pick, we get money, we got carbon in the shop. We go into the shop, we buy 17 carbon. Trust me, we only need, it says we only need 16 for the next quest, we need 17. We grab our loot, which is one cell generator, one chemical combiner. Just on the right side this time. Chuck carbon into here. Chuck 16 carbon into here in this slot. Some charcoal. We'll chuck one carbon into here. One charcoal into there. We get money, we get chemical dissolver, we get some cellulose. Now we need to get the 16 cellulose. So we break down one. Chuck an oxygen and two cellulose into here. <coughs> Gives us a tree, which completes quest number three. Sorry, quest number four. So now we need to get 16 cellulose for the next one. We also got a polluted nurse. Sorry, we got the ability to buy Polluted Earth for 500 bucks. That finishes complete the quest. We get another 5 Polluted Earth in the next 500 bucks. <clears throat> Come to work and grow this tree. Until we get stone, we're just going to knock this down with whatever we've got in our hand. And as soon as we knock down the last leaf, the entire thing will fall down. we get any food, we will break it down. <coughs> we are going to just knock out all of these fires so that we don't accidentally burn loot. We will make torches soon enough to replace the light sources for when night rolls around. This is the third. Nine total. This will give us 13 total. That means the next tree should finish us off. Unless we get like three apples, which I'm a little dapple about. But that is a decent chunk of saplings we just grabbed. Alright, <clears throat> leave us with two, chuck the rest in. No. Right, that completes the quest. Gives us the ability to buy iron in the shop. We buy one iron. Then go back. That gives us the ability to buy silicon in the shop. We're going to buy one silicon. We're just trying to get all the shopping out of the way. Alright. So now we need to move on to our transmutation table. We've now got to just break down all that cellulose we've collected. We're going to keep all the carbon. Uh, or bar one at the very least. And then we'll take one back. Then we're just going to process all of it into more coal. We'll give us more fuel for this. Now, what we need to do is pull out one, two, three, four. We're going to pull out like 16 oxygen and 8 silicon. I'm going to go to our chemical combiner, chuck the silicon in, chuck the oxygen in. We get 8 silicon dioxide, which will give us 16 cobblestone. I'm going to knock out two more pieces of wood. <coughs> Grab some more saplings. That'll give us a crafting table and some six. So we're just going to... That's not where I wanted. I'm going to chuck the crafting table into this little nook right here. And then we can make ourselves... An axe and a furnace. Uh, but we haven't actually finished the previous quest, so we'll make a bunch of silicon, which finishes off this and gives me money and the ability to make a uh, buy aluminium and a furnace, which gives us another 500 bucks. Aluminium costs 5k. So we'll chuck our furnace to here. Uh, we'll get torches next. There we go. Finishes off another quest and we get another 500 bucks. We now have an axe, so we'll just cut down this tree. Or what's left of it at the very least. Uh, next up, we can use these last two logs to make ourselves a chest, which we can then turn into a task screen. Finishes off another quest and gives us another 500 bucks. It's funny how easy this gets when you've done it a few hundred times. Right. So, next up, we're going to need more wood. Not specifically for the wood, we need more stone, and this is the easiest way for us to get it. For now. So, we'll break down the wood. Break down the cellulose. Chuck it all into here. Shouldn't have chucked in the oxygen. Chuck that back. 
chuck those in, damn it. Get silicon back from those ingots. Make 32 silicon dioxide. Make even more silicon dioxide. Make a bunch of rocks. Chuck the oxygen back in. Uh, and chuck a charcoal into here. We need more energy. Make it two. Alright, cool. <clears throat> so now we're going to want to bridge it out a couple of spots. Also going to need to make some of these. And we're also going to just chuck some torchlight around these edges. And also like around the main platform as well. So we'll just platform out a little bit. One more lot. Then we start with the actual cobblestone work. So we want it to be six by three in the middle, which we currently have a five wide platform, which means we need it to be eight by uh, eight by five. So one, two, three, four, five. So then including the walls, it'll be that big. Right, then we need to make the side panels. And then we're going to make the walls. Right, so we're going to make our actual links to deal with them far over that way as we can. No, we need one more. We need that one to stay as it is. And we might actually just build a roof this time. Which means we're going to need more silicon dioxide. And we're going to need to chop down more trees. <clears throat> Soon we won't need to chop down the trees to get the resources we need. Uh, so we're going to break down these into cellulose again. Break the cellulose down into the chemical components of it. Keep the oxygen. Grab some more. Oxygen back. Get that a little. Chuck this into here, this into here. After it's all done, we can then feed the silicon dioxide back into it. Chuck the silicon back in. And that's more than enough stone to finish off the job we're trying to do. So I'm just going to chuck some torches in here, because I don't want mobs spawning. I know they can't spawn while we're doing this. Uh, we also need to grow one more tree, because we need some trapdoors for pathfinding. The funny thing is, the first time I did this, it took me like 25 minutes to get this far in, into this setup. Every time I've done this, I've learnt something new, and I've gotten a little bit quicker with it. I've also never put uh, a roof on this. I've always left it open because I've always been a little bit worried that uh, it won't work the way I want it to. If I have a roof. Drop the torch out. Close this up. And then we can get to work. I'm actually just going to chuck one of these in as well. That'll do. That should make them able to spawn in, so we should be good with all this. All right, we're gonna make a chest so we can store all of the extra stuff in it. Like I don't want these books, all this other stuff can kind of just stay there. And we have our first customer. Uh, we will, however, take back these and two of these and just make ourselves a sword so we can deal with these fuckers better. Right, this is a terrible idea. Great, an Enderman's already spawned out there. Took you a sweet time to notice me, Skelly. Right, so as tempting as it is to just start 
dealing with these guys quickly, it's not the most effective way for us. We're also going to start making our Enderman safe zone. Because Endermen are too tall to step into things with a two blocks tall. If we make a roof for this section, we should be good. Hey, Scully. Meh. Ooh, that Endman counts around a little bit. And this is exactly what I was talking about. If you look an Enderman in the face, they will run straight at you. They cannot reach you while you're on the air. So, the Ender Pearls are the one... Ender Pearls and Arrows are the two things you don't need to collect. So we can break this Ender Pearl we just got straight down. Tuck the element straight into here. We just collected enough bones so that we no longer need that. We can also combine these together to make ourselves more charcoal. Uh, we're also going to break this all down. So, straight away I got what I needed. Hydroxide, some phosphate. Phosphate? Phosphate. Let's go with that. Right, so we'll just grab out calcium, which finishes that off. Grab out phosphorus, which finishes that off. I think that's all I needed for that line. We can now buy strontium. Uh, phosphorus. Calcium, about 3,800 bucks. No mob spawned. We'll chop down this tree real quick. Just because there's no mob spawned and I've got nothing else really to do right now. Actually, what we can get onto is we'll start collecting flowers and seeds. We'll just take out the tree so I don't have to worry about knocking it out accidentally. So that I know of, we can gain access to five colors. Uh, I think. It's either four or five. I think five. We can get orange, pink, yellow, light gray, red. I think that's it. And white dye, technically. That's just bone meal. Alright, we'll replant this. <clears throat> Break all these things down because for some reason these give black gray dye, not white dye. Uh, we're going to save two of these away and break down two. And then we can just stow all this, grab out as much lead as we can. I don't think iodine was one of them, magnesium maybe. Uh, we need to get chromium, but I think we get chromium from orange flowers. We got more zombies. And a skelly. Nothing else. Cool. So we're just gonna rinse and repeat for a little bit. Every time a mob spawns, we'll go over and kill it. Uh, creepers aren't dangerous in this mod pack. If they blow up, they blow up like a firework. And there is a specific item I'm hoping to get from a loot box. I want some earth. Right. This is pre that changing. So what we can do now is we can merge these and get us some pink. Get us arsenic and sulfur. We're also going to get a bunch of iron, so we can start working through the iron parts of this mud pack. Right, so we got nine. We've got some wood, so we'll start with the hopper, which gives us extra hoppers. Money hopper, item conduit, and yatter wrench. All right, so that can stay there. Those can stay there. We'll try bone mealing some more.
And now we, because we just got another yellow flower, we can combine the yellow dye and the red dye and give it some orange dye, get more light grey. Which the yellow hydrogen dye gives us chromium. Not as much as we technically need for the quest, but we have enough EP to actually just grab it. And that gives us an extra 500 bucks. Which gives us enough to buy either strontium or aluminium. We're going to buy strontium. We can load it in. Then we'll buy... We'll finish off the quest with strontium. <coughs> Redstone is a pain in the ass to make. But, honestly, it's doable. We'll kill off this guy. Grab the loot. Eyeball and Enderman. Oh, there's three of the fuckers. And as soon as we've killed the three of these guys, we can collect their loot, and that should give us enough elemental... I'm not entirely sure what EMC stands for. I think it's elemental mana conduits. Something like that. <coughs> But we'll have enough of that to deal with what we need to get through. We'll chuck some more charcoal in. Uh, the hydroxide can go in too. Another element added to the list. Yeah, now we can break down gunpowder. Give this potassium nitrate. And we can now grab out another stack and a bit of iron. So another six pieces of iron we can make. <coughs> Which <coughs> means we've now got ten iron too. So we're going to smash out this quest as well, giving us an iron furnace. Which gives us an increased smelting speed. We also got some samarium. Next up, we're going to need a lot more iron. Cool. Because what we're after is going to require 15 pieces of iron next. So we're just going to start pushing for it. And hopefully, since I can hear the zombies, we'll have enough rotten flesh to go with the next part of that quest. We're also almost out of sword. Oh, so got one to go. Bait the Enderman over to attack. Now break this down. And immediately another Enderman comes in. Right, break down another Enderpearl. Chuck these in. Uh, we are before we move on. Going to need some more actual stone. So we'll just chuck in the silicon and the oxygen. Make ourselves. Oh, wait. Oh, two to one for this, isn't it? Damn. So we just chuck in more silicon, more dioxide, grab the stone, chuck this back into here. This is setting up for a later point, but it's still a valid. It's still a good thing to have sitting around. God damn Enderman. That's not good. Alright, so we're gonna need some more... Another stone sword. Cause it's not worth wasting iron on at this point. I was a little concerned though. Oh, 
want to say just close enough that we can hit it, but not close enough that it can hit us. That is the sweet spot. Proteins. Silicon dioxide is good to keep around. Right, we'll grab the rest of these elements, break them down, chuck them into here. We're going to need to get some more... We'll grab a stack of carbon out so that we can make some more charcoal. We are running rather low on energy. But a stack and a bit, that's seven. Six. Piece of iron. What I'm trying to set up will make it a lot easier to deal with this. We'll basically automate it. Yep. Oh. So we can break down the bone into bone meal. Start bone mealing the area. So I have a quest completed somewhere. Oh, we finished the gunpowder one. Right. And the furnace. 1800. We'll just keep on breaking down everything. Because the more things we break down, the more elemental energy we can collect. We'll go take care of that creeper in a second. On the flesh. Uh, we will just break down that gunpowder and the potassium nitrate. Get the silicon dioxide. Break down everything we've got in here. And take that, drop into charcoal, chuck all of our elements into here. And that gives us enough iron to do what we need to do with. And here's enough chest. So we only need 15. For this quest though, we need another 6 for another one. No, Miss Skellen. Alright, cool. That's clear. So, we're going to need some sticks. We're going to need more than that. Take three of those. Block of iron. Gives us this. Which is an excellent item to obtain because it gives us this. This little brew box stops Enderman from being able to teleport. Within eight blocks of it. Which doesn't seem like much, but now Endermen are spawning in there and can't teleport away. So they spawn in and they die. Right, we finally have the four rotten flesh completed. What is it, 2300? And I know it wants us to do something specific with it, but, but, cooking it is so much better. This is the other upside of the iron furnace. We can actually have two things loaded in to be cooked at a time, and two fuel sources available at a time. We'll chuck that in, we'll chuck these in. They're not very useful for me right now. Grab out the food. Monster jerky is a kind of food. And that means I can start healing again. Well, healing for the first time, really. Oof. Those are the biggest concern about going in there like that. 
skeletons suck. Right. Dump both of these into here. If we get drawers, those are gonna make them a lot better. Right. So we have our two hoppers. We need to get ourselves a melon chest. And realistically we need to get some more hoppers as well. <coughs> We're going to break down the bone meal, just because I can't be bothered sorting this out properly. Chucking the phosphate. Chucking more phosphate. Chucking the hydroxide. Chucking some more fuel. And then all of the elements we've got on us, yeah. That's all. I'm going to pull out all of the iron we can. Actually, we only need one stack now. Fifty. So we're going to pull out those three stone pressure plates that we made before. And it's three on the bottom and then a V that looks kind of like a face. Fill in the other three of these and we get a liquor fire. Which gives us a fluid tank as a reward. Fluid tank goes here, liquor fire goes on top of it. We're going to pull out a full stack of phosphate. Which will then convert into lava. Slowly but surely. So now we've actually got to get up here. That's not good. Uh, I suppose we could just build this up. We have to light up up here so we don't get mobs spawning in. You need to die too. <clears throat> right, now what we'll do, I'm gonna just chuck a chest to here. I'm gonna have to get real hopeful with this. Hope dear Christ that we don't have any mobs spawn on me while I'm doing this. Drop this platform back down. We now have these collecting any drops that any mobs drop in. No, they're not going to get that close. That's disappointing. And there we go. That should cover us for some mobs. Everything but tinies. So we might just drop that to like here. If we can, eventually we're going to set up fans that'll just push everything down this way. But for now, that is our mob farm set up in 36 minutes. Alright, so we now need three more pieces of iron. We do not have enough. We'll load all this in. Break all of it down. Pull out whatever iron we can again. We only need three pieces, but we'll take a fourth. You never know when you're going to need it. We can now grab a bucket of lava. Which gives us some obsidian blockers and breakers. And an item nullifier. Right. We're also going to pull out two full stacks of carbon. Which will break down the charcoal. So we'll just put two in. Then we're going to pull out eight full stacks. Two. Oof. Can't even pull out two, three. Alright. Then we're going to start killing some mobs. So. They're glitching a little bit. 
So we'll chuck in all the drops we've picked up from the Enderman. And by the sounds of things, we're about to have a little bit more. Take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks of carbon. Make ourselves a diamond. Finishes another quest off. Getting us a diamond sword. Next up, we need to get a water bucket. Because <clears throat> this is actually needed to do this. We're also going to need another two pieces of iron. So that's perfect. We need a second bucket for this. Alright, now we need everyone's most basic of liquids. Everyone's, everyone knows this chemical combination. Even if you don't know, you know it. You know it. Good old, just plain and simple H2O. So what we can do now is we can just grab lava, grab water. And we just need to remember how to make sand in this mod pack. Sand sucks. Or silicon dioxide, we immediately have exactly that. Some sand, we can smelt some sand into some glass. Then we chuck the glass with three on the top, three on the bottom. Lava on one side, water on the other, gives us a coal gem. <clears throat> Which gives us money from here and money from here. Although, you'd think that a cobble gem would give more money than that. So now we need to find some galleon. I don't know what the galleon is meant to be used for, but to upgrade this we need galleon and nickel. I don't care. I'm also starting to think that we should expand along by one. So that the spawns, spawn zones aren't affected by this and just have it set up so that it goes straight along the edge. Now that doesn't make much sense when I say it like that, but I know what I'm talking about. Alright, we'll break all that down. We need another hopper. So we'll start working on more iron. Chuck this into here. Get it cooking. Do I get anything different from just protein if we use it? We can't even break it down. <clears throat> Gunpowder in. Right, graves dust. Cobble can go in. Odd. Only nine pieces of iron left. Take those again then. There are resources I need to get more. Which should start growing more trees as well. Actually, pretty sure we haven't emptied this out yet either. So we'll just break down everything that was in there. And then we should be able to more grass. That is perfect. 51 gives us enough for 3. We already had 2 in there, so that's perfect. That gives us the 5 we need. We only have 1 log left, so we'll have to break this down. <coughs> Chuck this here. Make us another chest. Do it again. So now, what we can do is use ourselves this, these three items together. So we're going to chuck a chest down, say here. Hopper on top. Cobble gen on here. That should have a trickle down of cobble into that chest. Which in turn means we'll be able to get some cobble. We'll chuck down the grass blocks around this. Now next up, we need two buckets worth of water. Which means we're going to need 32 oxygen and a full stack of hydrogen. 
chemically, chemically combine them. As soon as we're done, we'll just chop these straight to here. Now we need a little bit more water, and we're good. So this will finish us off as far as the water's going because this will help us set up a uh, infinite water supply there you go one infinite water I like it nice set now, what's next? Uh, so next up can be the redstone. So we need one strontium for this. So we need one strontium and then CO3. So one oxygen, three carbon. Sorry, three carbon, one oxygen. Because it's strontium, it's strontium carbonate. Um, and then we just need iron oxide, which is just two iron. And... Three oxygen. And that in turn gives us the ability to start the manufacturing. We also apparently can get nickel. But I don't know where we're meant to get nickel from. Apart from nickel chloride, just from green dye. So if we can find a way to get some cactus, then we can make that. So I don't think we have nitrogen though. Do we have nitrogen? We do have nitrogen. Okay, so we can make a cactus. Right. So that's our next objective, cactus. I've never made cactus before. So we need cellulose, that's easy done, we can just break down a log. Then we need C11, H17, and O3. Uh, that's, that's intense. Right, so we're gonna need the nitrogen first. It's not going to... It's gonna decide everything else. CHNO3. So we'll put that into here. Gives us this. Come over here and break down one log. Gives us this. We'll talk the rest of the things we collected back in. Then we'll grab out two of this and one of this. Actually, we need four, don't we? So that will do for that. Oh, unlock the recipe, put the oxygen up there, put the silicon up there. Silicon dioxide down to here. Because this can only grow on sand. God damn it. Done that far too many times. We're not at the game stage of cactus yet. Where is the game stage of cactus? Right. That just makes me want to ask. Why am I getting that? I wanted the cobblestone. Ah, uh, yes. So if we put this into here, we can pick up a bunch of different elements, just very uncommonly. Right, so we're going to chuck three of those in. We're going to start loading bunches of this in. And now we have nickel. We're also going to dissolve this stuff down because we don't have access to cactus. We'll also chuck in another stack of cobble. Because now I know what it wants me to do. It just wants bulk amounts of cobblestone chucked in. Break down the rotten flesh. It'd be great if we could make a different kind of generator as well. Can I make other generators? Uh, make another simple sterling generator. Or just a sterling generator. It's going to take a lot of work. Uh, but the simple one takes a lot less work. So we can make that right now. Just double our resource production. Well, our energy production, anyway. Right. 
So we can start just breaking these down. I'm also going to start trying to grow some more flowers. <clears throat> Sometimes the easiest way to do it isn't going to get us the best results. I'm also going to knock this out. We're going to find... We have a cobblestone generator now, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to get all this cobble out. Chuck a full stack into here. Chuck more energy, more charcoal into here so we can get more energy generation. Cool. Uh, we'll grab a load of water. And put it into there. More sticks. And we will craft ourselves a hoe. Then we'll just hoe out these four spots and start growing us two lots of potatoes. Two lots of carrots. Because each of them has a different load, a different chemical, uh, chemical composition. Right, get the fuck out of there. I uh, will also... I'm doing this for my own safety. We need more security. Um, yeah, we have too much shit on me now. Break that down. Break the protein down. We'll start eating to heal up. Alright, uh, we'll start breaking down more cobble. Have another loot crate. Nothing worth grabbing. We'll start breaking down to dyes. Right, um, break the silicon dioxide down as well. Ooh. Nifty. I haven't bothered with the uh, obsidian breaker, but it's cool that I can just stow it in there. We'll also break down this orange one. Right, fuel again. We are just chewing through fuel at this point. And then that should almost be enough. So I want a full stack of nickel. Oh no, I only need 16. Nice. Chuck the rest of this in. It's access to nickel. Need to make evaporators. Right. And we are at. Oh, we are so close. So very, very close. That out, take that out, and load in the elements. It's more silicon dioxide, the most common drop, I'm assuming. So we've looted through what we needed. Storage upgrade 4. Uh, let it switch upgrade there. There we go. Chuck the gunpowder in. Potassium nitrate in. Load all of this into here. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't managed to get any gallium yet, but we'll get there. Also load the arrows in. Nothing. Hey, it's not always a guaranteed win, but we're not. We got a guaranteed lose if we don't try. So, All right. So our next quest we're gonna work on is the energy condenser. What we need the obsidian for, right? All right. So we'll start with that. We're gonna actually. We're gonna start with reloading up carbon. Alright, so next up we need, it's going to be so much easier than it was last time because I don't have to make it the long way, make the stone the long way anyway. We've got low conveyance dust, 
we need the diamond we got earlier, a chest, two stone. And conveniently, we have some silicon dioxide, which will give us the two stone we need. Which means all we and we have enough wood to make the chest. Which means that we can throw all of this together. Not that one. What am I missing? Two iron. Okay. Now we're good. Now we need some obsidian and some enderpearls. Enderpearls are easy enough to get at this point. We're going to cook up some more jerky because we're a little low on jerky. Well, conveniently he missed. I don't want that. He did not drop an enderbell. Unfortunate. Nothing worth collecting. Right. Chuck that in, we'll chuck these in. We'll keep the enderbell. Because we are now after four of those. Break down the potassium nitrate. Right. Uh, so. There's no point in going after that until we get the enderbells. So we're going to... Start getting rid of all this excess crap. Uh, we'll cook six of these. Take the extra carbon. Put in the samarium. Love hearing that noise. Anyone else in here? No. Alright, we're also going to break down two of these. Right, break down another two. Right, because now we can break down carrots. These should be giving us elements. That's not okay. Oh. Right. We still need to find each of them from cobblestone. Uh, we don't have enough money for that. Manufacturing. What do we need for the manufacturing? We need lead. Which we can make easily enough. So we need four lead. We'll start with that. Four lead. It's just a stack. Uh, we need two lots of redstone, which, honestly, redstone is just a pain in the ass to make, just because of how long it takes. So I'm going to make, like, four lots this time. Uh, actually, I think it's more than that. So we'll just pull up redstone real quick. I always forget how to make it. It's, so we're going to need eight, eight iron, 24 oxygen, eight carbon. No, that's not right. We'll figure it out. Whole heap of oxygen. And... I can't remember what the last thing was. Oh. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to chuck in iron and oxygen. Make us iron oxide. Make some carbonate. Uh, put the carbonate in with the strontium. Put those in together and we get some redstone. That was a lot easier than the last one. Break that back down, chuck up all of our elements back in. So we've now got redstone, we need a stack. We don't even have a stack of iron left. Not good. Alright. So we'll chuck in our ender pearl. No, I did not mean to do that. Um... <clears throat> What is my order I need for it? Right, so it's silicon. One, two, three. Cool. I don't want to have to go through these again. Right, gunpowder in. That in. Right, grab out whatever iron we can. That's enough for another two. I think is enough. Right, we have enough wood planks for that. No, it's this, this. And then I can't remember if it's that or the other way around. There we go, one piston. Alright, so we also need the copper solenoid, so we're going to need four copper. Do we even have copper? I don't remember finding copper. Where do we get copper from? Copper chloride. Cyandi, which makes cyandi we need lapis, but we haven't found any lapis. 
Uh, you can also get it from hard purple. Purple. Mineral salts. Copper ingots. No. Copper ores. No. We can get it from gold ores. Copper dust and powders. Copper blocks. And bronze. None of which I think are going to be coming around anytime soon. So we're going to store away everything we've made for this. Also store away this bucket because... Yeah, that's not something we're going to be using anytime soon either. It's always convenient when they bottleneck themselves and get killed for it. Alright, chuck in another three charcoal. Gunpowder in, all of this crap in. Bones in. We can chuck our elements in. Alright, so what's our next objective then? Since we can't do this one yet. We don't have the money to do this one yet. Although, if we got 16 of any of the resources, we could. Or we can just get cellulose. Because we're what? We're a load of cellulose off. Alright, uh, we're going to do that. <clears throat> we probably just chemically recombine it, but it's like honestly easier. A little more time consuming, but a fuck of a lot easier. I wonder if I can break, break down leaves into cellulose. No, we can't break them down into anything. That's unfortunate. So those guys dying in there. Pull that stack or two of carbon. Uh, yep, like that. We'll just keep on filling it up, I suppose. More carbon as well. Right, that's more than enough. We'll do that. This gives us enough for aluminium. Gives us additional chemical combiner recipes. It's good. Oh god. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So we're gonna start breaking back down the cellulose, the phosphates, more phosphates. Put the aluminium in. And that clears that out. Right. So we now have everything we need for this other objective. We just need to make a little area to set it up. <coughs> the most practical way of going about it but it gets the job done now we're going to need to grab out four of these right obsidian breaker right there we go so now we just need to grab out this and one two three four in the middle, these in the corners, gives us an energy condenser. I'm not entirely sure what an energy condenser does, but we have one now. <clears throat> we need to get netherrack. Netherrack requires silicon, zinc, oxygen, and sulfur. We don't have zinc yet, though. I'm pretty sure. No. I'm not entirely sure how we're meant to get zinc either. 
but we're just going to make some clay and then we're going to wrap it up for the day. So we need two aluminium and three oxygen to start with. Two aluminium, three oxygen. Which we can just unlock that and put those in. Gives us aluminium oxide. Next part is two lots of silicon dioxide. Means we need one, two, three, four silicon, four oxygen, two silicon. And then the last part of it is two lots of water. Which means two more oxygen, four hydrogen. Right, so we chuck in ah crap. Right, this is why we need to be very careful about how we do this. One, two, three, four. One, two. Chuck that back in. Aluminium oxide, silicon dioxide, water gives us aeolene, which gives us clay. Completing the clay quest. We get a bunch more grass. And we can now make hopping bonsai pot. Which require a bonsai pot and a hopper. Easy enough though. We just need to get a stack and a bit of iron. Honestly, it is just easier to go for the pull up. Ooh, giant ring. I don't know how, to, how I'm meant to use that chest, so we're just going to make ourselves our hopper. Uh, we need more clay. So we need five pieces of clay all up, so that's... We're going to need more elements, or more energy to make more elements at the very least. So we'll store away everything but the aluminium. Uh, so it was aluminium... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of the hydrogen. You know, we're just gonna grab sixteen of the oxygen as well and eight silicon. So we'll start with the silicon dioxide. Chuck in the water, and then we also need oxygen for the aluminium. So aluminium, silicon, that's not good, fuck, alright, uh, chuck that in, hey hey, we got gallium, and zirconium, nice, alright, that, that ended up being a little bit better than I was hoping, so we'll chuck in the aluminium oxide, chuck in the water at the end, chuck in the silicon dioxide in the middle, so we just need to make some more silicon dioxide. We now have three pages of shit. Uh, we'll chuck in more silicon, oxygen, so it's more of this, aluminium, water, silicon. It's more of this, which gives us more clay, which we can then use to make more bricks. Mobs all get ground out. We walk in, we collect. Bunch of shit that we can use. We need to break down all of these mob drops we just collected though. Because we don't have enough elements currently available. Chuck that in. Everything that's currently a single element gets absorbed back in. Gold furnace. Completes a quest by itself. Now we just need the diamond furnace. It's going to be eight diamonds, which isn't actually that hard to do. Take out all of this. Start loading it all back in. I'm also going to chuck in all of this cobble we've got. Right. We're going to work on those di on that diamond furnace now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just load in everything we've got. Right, we got four more in there. And we got two more now, so we just need six more. Right, we got four. Uh, we can break down the carbon, head the ch charcoal chunks into carbon. I don't know what else we can use. We can kill off some more mobs.
back the fuck off before we die for that shit. Break down the bones, the arrows, stuff we get from both of them. Then all these other elements get broken down into everything we just picked up out of them. Including the wood we just got laying around. Collect up all the carbon we can, chuck this in here with a small chance that we can get something else. Eight more. We need two more stacks. That puts us at four. We need, we're halfway there. Not nearly close enough, if you ask me. Uh, we'll grab out more cobble as well. Chuck some more charcoal into the furnace. More gallium as well. Need to eat jerky so that we don't die. Kill a zombie so that it dies and we can collect its remains. More jerky. Oops, did not mean to do that. Let's do that. Let's keep chewing through all the resources we've got. Break down everything and rework what we've got. Alright, cool. Six down. Five towards the next one. Two, four, six, seven. We're so close to hitting the next one of these again. All right, break all this down. Leave one. Flesh. Now I've just noticed how long this has been going for, and as soon as we're done this, we're gonna wrap up. Uh, so we're going to take out another stack of this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, went one over what we needed, but we are still also a stack shy. If we build up, that was a baby zombie. It's honestly the most frustrating thing in this game. Because we can't, st with our setup, we can't stop them. They are always going to get through to us. Not really much we can do about We just gotta get these last few logs and then we can climb back down. That side taken out. It's the rest of the tree taken down. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump down and plug that hole really quickly. Right, 
we, we no longer have to worry about that tiny zombie. And what we can do to get rid of him is we can... Oh, he's just going to take care of himself. Thank you. We'll break this down into protein. Down into cellulose. Take all that out. Keep the carbon. Drop everything else in. Take whatever carbon we can. We have four in a bit. Almost five. But right. we can break down all this. We can grab, we can make an extra piece of charcoal. We are running out of energy in here. On the hydroxide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight full stacks now. Gives us exactly what we need for this. Which means that we can turn this gold furnace we picked up into a diamond furnace and that finishes off that quest and all that's left is the obsidian furnace. We get a grand for doing it. Uh, the obsidian furnace requires eight pieces of obsidian which is so much fucking easier. Like unbelievably amount easier. I will grab out whatever phosphorus we can, chuck it into here. And that right there, that's where we're going to wrap up for the day. Probably going to break this down into two videos, but... That is a rather successful re-attempt. What with our new and improved mob killer, a little farm in the back, and our little alchemy set up on the side. If you like what you've seen here, and like the fact that we fucking survived, finally, <laughs> he's hoping, uh, chuck us a like, chuck us a subscribe if you really like it here. Tell us, what mob gets you the most? I think it has to be either the Enderman or that baby zombie. Hate both of the fuckers. Love that noise and them dying though. But we will be back here next week. Same fate time, same fate place. 